Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you five outfits that you can wear to your holiday parties. So we're in that season right now where we have so many parties and so many festive events going on and you want to make sure that you have all your outfits picked out because it can also get pretty hectic at this time of year. So I wanted to give you some outfit ideas that can transition for work, for after work, for the weekend, for any occasion that you might think you have. And then I'm also gonna do another video with, with different outfit ideas, maybe something more casual, like no heels, you know, like last minute sort of outfit ideas. If you guys wanna see that kind of a video, let me know in the comments, and then I'll make sure I get that done before the new year. But let's start with this first outfit. I love a suit. A suit is perfect for any time of year, especially for the festive party season because you could split the suit up you can wear it so many different ways and you can just buy the one suit and have so many looks from it so this suit is a suit that i got last year from banana republic but you but i feel like you can always find a sparkly glittery suit you can even do a basic black suit which i'm going to show you with another outfit but i love this one because it's gold bronzy sparkle it's really cute i love how put together it looks and then I decided to pair it with a bodysuit. This is an old bodysuit that I got from Zara, but the reason why I picked this one is because it has the fluted sleeves and I really like the way it looks sticking out of the jacket. It has a mock neck and it's perfect for those cooler temperatures. And then on my feet, I'm wearing a pump from Sam Edelman that I got from Nordstrom last year as well. It looks so cute with a pom pom and I think it just finishes the outfit perfectly. Here's the second suit I was telling you guys about. This suit is a Zara suit. They always have this suit every year. I feel like they do change the blazer a little bit, like maybe the lapels, but they always have this suit. It has the satin pinstripe going up the side of the pants, and then the lapel on this jacket is satin as well. It's a nice stretchy material. It feels really comfortable. It's very slimming. I love this suit. It just fits really well. And then I threw this on with a Zara tank. Well, it's, it's just a blouse, but it has no sleeves and then I have on these same Sam Edelman pumps so cute I love this outfit I I just feel like it's just so perfect I love suits for parties especially tuxedo style suits they just look so good so timeless and you'll always reach for it and you can break it up and wear it in the daytime just because it's tuxedo pants doesn't mean it only has to be for like a nighttime event so the cool thing about this top is that I'm wearing it backwards I really like the way it looks especially with the blazer and the suit looks really polished and just clean and then this is actually the front that I twisted to the back it has a really cute little split in the back now it would be more of a v-neck if I wore it, wore it the correct way with a little split in the front and then ruching around the chest which is still really cute I just feel like it looks a lot more polished like this and then when you turn around you know you're dancing and talking they get a little bit more interest in the back which is so cute and the cool thing about wearing something like this with a little bit more interest in the back is I don't have to worry about what bra I'm going to wear. I have on a regular standard bra, but I don't have to worry about having on like a backless gown or a backless top, which is so cute. But when you have a larger chest, it's just a lot more calculation involved. And sometimes you just don't want to be bothered. So if you find something with a little bit of interest, think about flipping the shirt around like I did. This is backwards and it looks really cute and you never know. You know what I mean? So I really like that a lot and I love this look. Let me know in the comments if you guys like it too. So here's the next outfit. I love this one because of the comfort factor. It's so comfortable, but it's also really, really cute. I love the ease of a baggy jean. It looks like you didn't even try, but then you're really put together on top with the sequins and it just makes it, it's like a sporty, chic, really fashionable look. I love this. And then the top is from Zara. Another top that I flipped around. The This is actually the front here. I just flipped around because I didn't want to deal with cleavage. It opens up and it can like spill open. Um, if you're busty so I like it better in the back I think it just looks cuter especially with the fact that I'm wearing it with these jeans they're very ripped up very baggy so I think looking nice and clean and pulled together on top really makes the whole thing work and then on the bottom I'm wearing these silver metallic booties these I got from Nordstrom last year love them they're absolutely perfect this outfit is so comfortable 
I can't go on enough about how comfortable these jeans are. So it's perfect for a party because you can dance and move and you got a little ventilation so you don't have to worry about getting overheated. I love that. So let me throw on the blazer and show you how the whole look looks together. So here's the whole thing together. This is a white blazer from Zara. It's actually the same exact blazer from the black suit that I showed you right before this outfit. I also have the white one. I did get the white blazer one size bigger because I was looking for an oversized fit. And I think that this whole boyfriend style blazer, boyfriend style jeans, baggy with the sequins, it just really works well. I love it. It's very comfortable, very chic, very glamorous as well. So don't let anybody tell you that you can't be comfortable and glamorous at the same time because for me, this is it. What do you guys think? Here's the next outfit, you guys. I think this outfit is so adorable and unexpected because of the turtleneck. Now, let me just go over what the details are. So I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton boots. I love that. First of all, the comfort factor is major and they're super cute. I love the little bit of edge they add to this outfit because it's a really very sweet look. But when you throw on the boots, it edges it up a little bit. And then I'm wearing opaque tights because, you know, it's cold out there. And then I have on this dress from Zara. I love this baby doll style. Zara has been doing a lot of these silhouettes in dresses like organza. Like they have these baby doll dresses that I love. They're so cute. And this one has pockets. I love that. I love a dress with pockets. It just makes it like extra cute to me. So I love that. And then I decided to throw on this turtleneck. The turtleneck is from Zara as well. But I love the color. This lavender has like a blue undertone and it looks really cute under this under this um, dress. Now, when I originally tried it on, when I was putting the look together, I had in mind I was just gonna wear a black turtleneck under it, but I had this one on hand, so I just threw it on just to get the idea. And I thought it was so cute. So this is a really cute outfit that's warm and comfortable. So depending on the occasion, it's a great look. And then I decided to pair it with my medium Lulu. I did a review on this bag. I can link it in the cards if you guys haven't seen it. Maybe you're interested in getting this bag or buying it for a present. It's a really great bag. So here's the whole entire look. Love it, cute and comfortable. And then this turtleneck also has like a little bit of gold detail so it ties everything together. My boots have gold hardware. So it's perfect and I love the sheen on this dress. The baby doll effect is just so cute. Really sweet. You can even do a headband or something <clears throat> like a hair accessory. Maybe wear your hair up in a bun. That would be really, really cute. With this too, maybe a bun with like a braid going up. It'll be really cute. How many times can I say cute in one video, you guys? If you guys have been counting, let me know in the comments how many times I said cute in this video. But I just love cute outfits. I feel like this is just the perfect look. And I cannot wait to wear it. I actually wanted to wear this in New York when I was there, but I just didn't have the time. It just didn't work out. So I'm gonna be wearing it when I go on another trip, but love this outfit, so cute. So here's the final look, you guys. I love this one because pink is my favorite color. The top is from J. Crew. It's a thin knit. It's wool, so it's warm, but it's nice and thin, so you don't have to worry about feeling too heavy or like you have too many clothes on when you're at a party. The skirt is from Nordstrom. I've had it for a while. I've never worn it before. I got it sometime over the summer. I hold a bunch of stuff from Nordstrom, and I'm pretty sure it's sold out, but I can find something similar and link it in the description box. And then on my feet, I'm wearing some DKNY pumps. I also got these from Nordstrom. I love them because they're so comfortable. And they're not a really bright optic white, they're more of a creamy white, and they're just perfect. They're really comfortable and I like these a lot. This bag is actually a DSW find. It's an off brand, I don't know the brand at all. But um, if I can find something similar, I'll link it in the description box. I don't think there were very many left when I got this one, but I thought it was pretty cool because, first of all, it's a wristlet, it's pink, it's really sparkly, it's iridescent, so cute. And then it has a snap here. 
and it's kind of like origami, but it unzips. You can get you get in there. You can fit quite a few things in here. So if you find something similar to this, you guys should pick it up. Um, I haven't worn it yet, but I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to wearing it, and I love this outfit because it's like a pink explosion, but I still feel really put together, sophisticated, and I would wear this to an office party, like if you have an office holiday party, or some place where you just want to be like a little, you want to be put together, but you don't want to be like suited up or just have jeans on, you still want to do something special. So this is the perfect look for that. Let me know what you guys think about this outfit. Are you even into pink as much as I am? Because this look might not be for everyone. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed these holiday picks. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. If you're new here, welcome to Park Avenue. I do styling videos like these all the time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way when you guys let me know the kinds of videos you want to see, you'll also know when your video is ready to be viewed. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs down if you did not like this video, but make sure you leave it in the comments and let me know why. I'll see you guys in the next video.